I am Ian and along with my lovely wife Angie, we're taking you on our video record of none other than Graceland, the legendary home of the king himself, Elvis Presley. This is a record of our trip to the king's home. But before we dive into Graceland, let's talk a little bit about Memphis. It's known for its soulful music, mouth-watering barbecue, and of course, Elvis Presley, the city's got a certain charm. It's not the buzzing experience of, say, Nashville. It is broody, but it's not called the home of the blues for nothing. Bars and Americana are plenty. Now, let's get to the main attraction, Graceland Mansion. It's an absolute icon. The place where Elvis lived in style. Did you know it's the second most visited house in the United States, right after the White House? The mansion's got 23 rooms, and each one's like a time capsule of Elvis's life. From the quirky jungle room to the lavish living room, it's like stepping back in time. The jungle room, by the way, is something else. It's decked out in shag carpeting and has indoor waterfall features. Elvis recorded some of his last songs right in this room. You cannot view every room in the house. The upstairs is off-limits, but there is plenty to see. You also get to see the dining room, where Elvis enjoyed family meals, and the kitchen. The living room is like a mid-century modern masterpiece. The TV's bigger than some people's entire living rooms, and the furniture screams luxury. It's where Elvis would often watch his favorite TV shows and hang out with friends. It's a spiraling journey through the house so you won't miss anything. One of the highlights for us was the famous TV room. It's like a step back into the 70s with those yellow and blue hues. Elvis loved his TV time, and this room is where he would kick back and enjoy some downtime. You know, the whole tour really gives you a sense of how down-to-earth and relatable Elvis was despite his immense fame. He had this charisma that made you feel like you were welcome in his home. One of the iconic rooms is the jungle room. It's hard to describe and not to everyone's taste, but it is individual and unique. Now, let's talk about something unique at Graceland, the Smokehouse and Squash Court. The Smokehouse was Elvis's private dining spot, now it's an extension to the Museum of Elvis with various artifacts, memorabilia, and an insight to the organizational life behind the Elvis team. You can check out the Squash Court. Elvis was a fitness enthusiast, and he'd often play here with friends. It's a cool slice of history, and you can almost hear the echoes of their laughter. The Squash Court is like stepping into a time machine. The wooden walls, vintage equipment, and the old-school scoreboard all add to the ambience. It's hard to picture Elvis the legend and his mates in their tennis shoes, working up a sweat. Plus, they've preserved it just like it was when the king was around. It's not some modern, updated version. It's the real deal, frozen in time for all us fans to appreciate. Apparently Elvis was known to be quite competitive on the court and he'd play for hours. It's incredible to think that amidst all the fame and fortune, he had this down-to-earth side to him spending time playing squash with his friends. So, there you have it, folks, the smokehouse and squash court at Graceland. It's more than just a mansion, it's a place that lets you connect with Elvis on a whole different level. Perhaps the most touching part of the tour is the meditation garden. It's a serene place where Elvis and his family are laid to rest. There's something incredibly moving about being in the presence of such a legend's final resting place. Here you see the swimming pool, the beautiful gardens and the graves. Here you get to see the supposedly wrongly spelled headstone and its incorrect position in relation to his mother. This is where you actually feel the aura of Elvis, it's weird, 
but it feels as if he's actually there. A real powerful experience. Last but not least, let's talk about those airplanes at Graceland. Elvis had not one, but two, private jets. The Lisa Marie and the Hound Dog too. These birds are like a mini-museum themselves. The Lisa Marie is decked out in pure 70s glam, with plush velvet seats, a conference room, and even a bedroom. Elvis knew how to travel in style, that's for sure. And the Hound Dog too, it's no slouch either. Both planes have fascinating stories to tell, from cross-country tours to private family trips. Today, they must look very dated, but back then they must have been space age. Hard to imagine a single person can accumulate that amount of wealth. So, there you have it, our trip to Graceland. It's a must-visit for any Elvis fan or anyone looking to experience a piece of rock and roll history. This video diary doesn't cover the museum part of the attraction which is a massive display of memorabilia and worthy of a post in itself. We'll perhaps cover that in another post along with our stay in the guest house at Gracelands where we met Priscilla. I kid you not.